kind of at the root of our friendship and our relationship is a deep desire to help people. Growing up, I didn't have parents that were super close. My parents ended up getting divorced when I was about halfway through high school, maybe my junior year in high school. And so that was kind of my concept and my perception of marriage. Because my parents' marriage didn't work out, I knew that I wanted to make sure that mine did. For me, I had a completely opposite view where when I was younger, my parents got along. It looked like they loved each other. So I had this fantasy that marriage was perfect. You just pick the person, you do the right things, and then it's just this blissful unit. But as we got closer to getting married and how he grew up and I grew up was different, we knew that we really had to communicate and talk and intentionalize our marriage before it happened. And as we have done that, we have my fantasy, but we have it because we work hard at creating the marriage that we want. It's not just something that comes like I thought before, but it's something that we, we cultivate and create every single day. After you're married, your love gets tested and everything associated with love, patience and charity, all those things that are encompassed by the word love are tested. And sometimes that can be really hard, but also if you can focus on the other person during those challenges, if you can be honest, if you can communicate, then those testing moments of that love really just deepen your friendship, your relationship, and your desire to be with that person. Just seeing the other person challenge themselves and work harder on themselves brings um, its own maturity that you don't see in, in the blissful world of dating. The best thing is talking it out, redirecting our communication, making it clearer, and then saying, my love for you has grown tremendously from the time we've dated to this moment in time. And that's only come through through the challenges and the ups and downs that you don't get from dating, from, from putting your whole self in, being vulnerable with each other. And I think that's why we need marriage to mature love, because we need those challenges. We need, we need to be refined a little bit yeah. to love each other more the next day than the day before. Kind of at the root of our friendship and our relationship is a deep desire to help people, to strengthen people, and to help people identify who they are and what they're capable of. As we've come together, we've gone on this path where we're determined to help others be where we're at. And we're no, we're not perfect by any means, um, but we're trying and we want others to feel that too. That feeling is because we've created so much of that within us that for me to think that someone doesn't feel that love or they don't feel that importance, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. my, my heart just wants them to feel loved and needed no matter their background, their culture, whatever it might be. We, I want them to have that love that we have. It's coming from marriage, not from their own marriage. But my hope is that if we can transfer our love that we have so much of, then that will give them enough to create a positive, meaningful life, not only with them individually, but they can see our relationship, our marriage, and put that love into their own marriage. I want them to have as much love as that we, that we have together. And kind of going along with that, since being married, I've, I've become more sensitive of other people's needs. Because I'm focused on Allie's needs, I, I'm more aware of the needs around me. And when those needs go unmet, kind of like what Allie said, it, it hurts. I want to see people happy. Thank <laughs> you.